people that trigger us are our biggest teachers. They show us what we need to work on, where we need to let go of things that we're holding on to, patterns of thinking that are keeping us small. Um, and usually there's people in our immediate family, people close to us that trigger us regularly. And these are going to be our biggest teachers because they're showing us, showing us where the work is within us because that trigger shows what I am still trying to deal with within myself. And so how can I bring awareness to my triggers instead of reacting and blaming the other person? How can I look at the trigger of what's happening and then address whatever that issue is within myself. Yeah, so I feel like that is a really big one that's coming up a lot, of like noticing my triggers and instead of immediately blaming the other person for behaving a certain way or doing something, actually looking at myself and, and turning the finger around and looking at me and going, hmm, what actually do I need to work on to let go of this, this belief or this thinking pattern that's allowing me, pulling me into this negative state of, of being this negative emotion that keeps coming up and up and up? How can I, how can I observe myself, observe people that are triggering me and not react the same way in the same pattern that I've been doing over and over and over again. And yeah, you might, you might also notice the people you feel animosity or hate or resentment towards. There is work for you to be done there. There's, I know there's people in my life that I'm holding this, these negative feelings towards. And that's not serving me, that's causing me suffering. And it's not allowing me to move forward. And I'm stuck in this lower consciousness level with this ongoing pain that I'm holding on to and causing my own suffering. So I guess the question is where in your life are you causing your own suffering? Because letting go of all this blame and resentment and the triggers is only going to help you. It's, it's, it's not about anyone else, it's about you. It's about me seeing how I can help myself more. And, and it's coming back to that, like taking back your own power instead of pointing the finger at everyone else around you. It's like noticing where your work lies, where my work lies, how I can let go of all this tension that I'm holding on to all these triggers, all this negative, negative emotion that I'm holding on to. How can I let that go and allow me to be free? Because it's causing, it's this, this pattern causes your own imprisonment, your own mental imprisonment. So how can you, how can you look upon your triggers people that trigger you with more understanding of, oh, this is God, if you want to call it that, God showing me, God showing me what I need to work on. So, yeah, that's a big one is looking at people who trigger you in a different lens now and how can you change your pattern 
and move and evolve and step up 